Hi, Cheyenne. I'm excited I get to still talk to you, even though you're not in Chicago anymore. Um, I wanted to know basically how it's going, how you feel in your new setting, in your new city, all of that. It's going great. I'm so happy here. Um, just so much support and um, unity and love. I'm, I'm doing great. I'm really enjoying it. Um, my teammates are really great. The staff is great. The new ownership is awesome. Um, I'm fitting in really well. Next question is from Brandon Sudge from the AJC. Go ahead, Brandon. Hey, uh, Cheyenne, kind of following up on that. I mean, it had to be kind of an interesting spot for you signing as a free agent, expecting to play for Nikki Collin, and then having a coaching change in the middle. How did you kind of deal with that? And can you just elaborate on that for me, please? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, it was it was really unfortunate when um, when we got the news about Nikki um, having to leave. Um, and then even the GM, you know, those were the two people that I was I was talking to during the entire process. So, yeah, it was um, for a second. It was it was a little shaky um, emotionally, obviously. But the one thing that I have experienced throughout my career is that happens all the time. Um, it's a part of the business. It's something that we kind of get adapted to, you know, whether it be a player, a coach, whatever, it just becomes something that you just have to adapt, immediately adapt. Um, so it wasn't a short, it was a very short, um, shaky moment. You know, I had confidence in knowing that um, what I bring to this team hasn't changed. You know, um, the reason I came to this team hasn't changed. Nikki was a great, great coach. Um, it would have been great to play for her, but you know, that wasn't in the cards and that's just how, that's just how life happens. You know, you have to kind of just take the, take the punches as they come. Um, Raphael Haynes from Three Point Conversion, go ahead. Miss Cheyenne, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm well, I'm well, thank you. Uh, I have a two part question. The first question is, who is that one WNBA player growing up that you love to play, I mean, you love to watch play and like was your favorite player. And then the second part is um, a few people mentioned you as one of the funniest um, team team members for the dream. Who, who makes you laugh? Who, you, who do you think is the funniest, whether it's one or, you know, two or three? That's funny that they said that already. I haven't even started yet. Okay. Um, Okay, the first part of the question, remind me, I'm sorry, I forgot the first which, question. Which player growing up did you, um, what was your favorite or did you love watching play? I watched Candace, Candace Parker. That was um, who I really, I really liked her, her game and how she was able to like dribble and um, just, she was so versatile at 6'4". Um, I looked up to that, you know, I, I aspire to, to be that type of player. Um, so it was definitely Candace growing up. Um, and then the funniest teammate that I have so far, man, they, it's a few, it's a few, to be honest. There are quite some characters. I really love them. They're great. But, whew, Courtney is funny. She's crazy, though. But I think, honestly, I think Crystal Bradford, so far, she has been comedy. Like, she don't even be trying. Like, she's very funny. Like, I can't even. <laughs> I'll give y'all an example. <laughs> so last practice, we had a really good play. Like, just really nice, really nice play. So after the play, we was all hype and everything. And she came in the huddle and was like, that's some chemistry right there. Y'all on a dinner date. Like, <laughs> She just, and it's just right off the dome, you know, like she doesn't try. She just comes up with these funny things and you just can't help but laugh. But yeah, definitely CB. She's had me laughing the entire training camp. 